Space Station will first appear visible right about here. I will try to follow it. Okay, there it is. I see it. I see it. Wow, this is almost going to be a direct hit. Hey, how's it going? I'm still Jeremy. Tonight is another photography experiment. The International Space Station is supposed to fly over Osaka, and I'm going to try to... It's going to be a perfect, I think, a perfect pass, almost straight up in the air, arcing from horizon to almost the whole horizon. This is an extremely good opportunity. The last time I did this, I didn't really have a goal. Now I have prepared much better, and I actually have a goal. So let me show you. This is the castle. Over here is Osaka City. And here is my camera, my Canon camera. So I th think, based on my calculations, the space station will first appear visible right about here. A little bit higher than that building and just to the left of it. It's going to go up in the air. Up in the air. It's going to go up through the sky almost perfectly to the exact top of the sky, which is 90 degrees. And then it's going to go basically behind the castle. I will try to follow it, but slowly rotate the camera so when it goes to the, uh, towards the castle side, it will be, um, you know, not, not upside down, it'll be right side up. Well, I have my zoom lens and I'm going to be zoomed all the way in, so 200 millimeters, so it's very, very, a very tight shot. So I don't, as I'm shaking it around, I'm going to be shaking the camera as I'm trying to move it. Try to move it slowly, or gracefully, so uh, the space station doesn't go out of shot. And then, hopefully, I can get the space station going right to the top of that little golden fish thing up there on the, uh, on the top of the castle. And the space station will disappear behind that. So that's the goal. It depends on the haze, and that's kind of... I mean, this is a hazy, hazy city, so... Now that I think about it, that might not work out. But we'll try, we'll try. There's, it was supposed to be like 70% covered in clouds or something, and it isn't. Over where the space station's gonna start, that's, that looks cloudy and or hazy. But the rest of the sky just looks gorgeous. So, 7.45 p.m. is when it's gonna start. Ultimate goal here today is a four minute video of the entire flight until it goes behind the castle. Okay, we still got a couple minutes to wait. Uh, probably uh, maybe three or four minutes to wait, but all my cameras are running already because I'm so excited. It's summertime and it's such an orange hazy type of <laughs> summer evening. It's kind of hard to tell what's cloud and what's haze and what's pure sky. I need to stop talking and concentrate because it's going to suddenly appear somewhere, probably not in this frame. I'm going to have to start moving the camera. and follow where I think the space station would be. Although my eyes are sort of adjusted to the darkness, it's, um, it can still, there it is. There it is, there it is, I see it. So the camera's still now, so that's the space station moving. So then, okay, well, following it is not difficult, it's just boring. Doesn't look like anything. Is it graceful yet? Okay. So we're about 55, something like that, degrees up. That's just a guess. It's cool when it passes by a star, because it looks like one star is just trying to escape the other stars. Okay, it's almost straight up now. It's hard to keep it in the center of the frame and turn the camera and keep following it. That's 
up. Uh oh. Oh crap, I lost it. There it is. Oh, this is really hard. This is really hard. Okay, it's straight up now and I'm just turning the camera straight up. Alright, alright, alright. So now we're headed back down. And I have to follow it and I have to walk across this embankment that I'm standing on. To where I wanted to hit the castle. Try not to fall off this wall. Further over I get, the better, although this is really hard. Okay, the castle should come into view fairly soon. Wow, this is almost gonna be a direct hit. On that fish on top. No problem. It's all in a day's work for T1D Wanderer. Oh, wow. I think I did it. That's about what I was thinking was going to happen. That was about as good as I could have hoped. A little bit more planning and a little bit better blood sugar and look what you can accomplish. That was great. That was almost a direct hit. I couldn't really get a super direct hit because I would have fallen uh, 10 feet off this wall and probably cracked my head. Which might have been worth it because it might have been a cool shot, but probably not. Anyway, that's today's vlog. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Please go here to sign up to my newsletter. Um, please subscribe to this channel to see more vlogs. They're not all like this. They're not all photography vlogs or anything. Mostly it's just right, me riding around uh, Osaka talking about things. But this was tonight's. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.